Hello and welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Frank Poulin, and today we're at the North Suffolk Library, where we're going to be talking with members of the Suffolk Public Library System and the Executive Director of the Suffolk Art League about all the fantastic events that are upcoming in the month of December. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Frank Poulin, and we're here at the North Suffolk Library. We're going to be talking about all things holiday. And right now we're here with Angie Sumner and Megan Mulvey, both of the Suffolk Public Library System. How are you ladies doing today? Great. How are you? Good, thank you. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Now, as we said, we're going to be talking about all things festive and to hide no, no secrets, of course. We've got a bunch of it kind of here and on that table over there. So let's kind of dive in and discuss what we have going on in the Suffolk Public Library this month. All right. Well, we have a lot of fun programs coming up for all ages. Um, I guess we can start with the younger ones. We have a Celebration Circuits program okay. um, where kids ages 6 through 11 can come in and make a greeting card using some copper tape and LED lights so that, that they lights can up. learn how mm -hmm. yeah. circuits work okay. while making a cool craft. Very cool. Um, so there's kind of an education component to it yes. as well as a craft component. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we have that coming up on December the 10th at North Suffolk Library and December the 31st at Morgan Memorial Library. Okay. Registration is required so they can go online and register or call the library. Okay, great. What else do we have? Um, I love these awesome um, ornaments up here. We have a DIY ornament program coming up. Oh, so these were all made by staff members or? Yes. Actually, in the class, they can make something like this. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, wow. We um, we we like to have some models on hand so okay. that people know what they're getting into. But um, a little known secret: you need to try to make your model not look too good because people get sort of fixated on trying to make theirs look exactly like ah, mine. I see. So it works well for me because I'm terrible at crafting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have these fantastic um, uh, ornaments. Uh, we have, I'm not sure of the date of the DIY ornaments, but um, is that December 12th? So we have December 12th at Morgan Memorial and December 13th at North Suffolk. Okay. Yeah. And what age range is this for, this one? Um, this one is for adults okay. or children 12 and up can come if they're accompanied by an adult. And again, people can register for these classes online or by calling the library. Okay. Now, these ornaments are much better than anything I would do. I'd be a glob of glue kind of at the top, and that's all you well, get. Well, the hot glue gun is really the secret weapon okay. of any holiday crafter, and that's why we require um, little hands to be accompanied by I an see. adult. Perfectly understandable. <laughs> and I see we got some other stuff over here. There's a little hedgehog. Yeah. Yes, so we also have some fun stuff coming up for the teens in our area. We have a winter crafting madness for teens, mm. and that will be coming up on December 8th at Morgan Memorial and December 14th at North Suffolk. Registration is not required, and pretty much we'll be doing some cool crafts like the um, upcycled book hedgehog, and we also have a tree so they can craft those and also decorate them. Now, now these are made from kind of, you said upcycled, but so I'm assuming, so, so you take books and they, magazines or whatever, and they yeah. kind of fold them this into one is from kind of origami? That looks like a lot magazine. of time. Yeah, this is from a magazine, and um, the backing is a uh, Cheez-Its box. Cheez-Its box. You can really upcycle everything. Okay. Um, and you know, you can really make it fun by using, you know, maybe you have um, someone who's a big fan of entertainment. You could use Entertainment Weekly mm. or. Um, kind of read the articles <laughs> as you're compiling your craft. Yeah. <laughs> See what's going on with Bradley and, <laughs> and the gang. But all right, so, so, so that's for no registration required, you said? No registration okay. for this one, yes. This is open to all teens ages 12 through 18. Okay. Um, and we have another teen program coming up in December. I'm excited It's going about to be our Elf Teen Holiday Party. Elf so, Teen Holiday elf, Party, yes. okay. So they can watch the movie Elf. They can come in, um, make some hot chocolate at our hot chocolate buffet. Yes. And sample some spaghetti with maple, maple syrup. syrup. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like just so how Elf did in the movie. movie. Yeah, yes. okay. So you can uh, <laughs> try it out for yourself and <laughs> see if it actually tastes that great. Um, and then three, they can... Three food groups, right? Yeah. Yeah, you've got the... Candy, candy corn, syrup... And pasta. Well, you got pasta. <laughs> so, 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 so at least you have some kind of starch. In there. I think my uh, nephew wanted to try it, so he'll yeah. probably certainly be here for that. Yes. <laughs> and we'll also be making some touchscreen gloves just in time for the cold weather. Touchscreen gloves. What, yes. what, what, what are those? 
Um, so it's gloves that you can actually use, like on your smartphone. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so that program will actually be on December twentieth at North Suffolk Library. Um, no registration required, so you can just show up and have fun. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. That does sound like a fun one. And now, now what other events do you gonna have? Because I, I know the library has been doing such a good job with it, filling up its calendar and doing a whole ton of events for a range of different age groups. And I know you have, the, you know, your standard stuff, um, but but the holidays are really when you know the library system kind of comes alive with events and ideas. So, so so what else do you have going on? Well, we're going to be out. Um, we can never forget about our Chuck Attack branch. Okay. So um, we do have um, a cool Chuck and. Chuck Attack Nights program okay. um, that we do once a month on the Monday evening that we're open late. Okay. Um, and so that's an opening open crafting program um, where we take things that have worked at our other branches where maybe we've had more attendance. Okay. And we take them to Chuck Attack because we know people can't always get out to either of the North Suffolk yeah, or the Memorial branches. Um, we're excited to bring um, just different uh, different things like. Um, We've, last month we did a sugar scrub program. What was that? Um, where you make uh, use essential oils and sugar to make your own like hand scrub. Oh wow! And body okay. Scrub. It's fantastic. Actually, I was just thinking, you know, you could really cut down on your Christmas shopping if you just come to the library. I was going to say, certainly, <laughs> you can make some ornaments for people, some holiday crafts, mm -hmm. and yeah. some soap and stuff like that. <laughs> exactly. But, but so, so, so yeah, so those are all great programs. So, so what are some other things that you guys are? have going on? Well, we have kind of an all-ages event coming up getting ready for the New Year's. Okay. Um, that will be December 30th and <laughs> we'll be doing a New Year's noon party so the kids can you know get excited for a balloon drop okay. um, while the adults later on get excited for the <laughs> ball drop <laughs> the later yeah. at night. Um, <laughs> so we'll be doing that um, December 30th at both of our Morgan Memorial and North Suffolk Library locations. We'll have crafts and mm -hmm. snacks. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like a whole afternoon of, of kind of partying yeah. Yeah. Yep. prior to the parties. Yep, so right. that will huh. begin at 11.30 and then at noon we'll have our balloon drop. Okay, all right, cool. very nice. And I know you, you said it was going to be at both locations? Yes, Morgan and, Memorial okay. and North Suffolk. And of course, you know, you have a calendar of events online that mm -hmm. you guys, you know, utilize and you constantly update. So if people really need to find something, you know, they can go online. And, and now, the, the registration process for these things, is that a long process or do you just, how, how does that kind of Not work? Not at all. Um, if you go to our calendar on our website, <laughs> suffolkpublicclibrary.com, um, you can actually go to the event. And if there's registration required, there's a short form that you fill out, okay. your name, your email address, mm -hmm. and then they'll send you a confirmation email, and you're good to go. And you're good to go. So, yep. it's, so it's that simple kind of. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, if um, exactly. registration is full, you can always be added to a waiting list, and we'll send a notification if you get added to the okay. registration. And, and now, does that happen often that these things kind of fill up fast? Should you kind of start You'd be early? Or, okay. Um, we have a winter wreath making program um, that uh, Angie it's just told me is full. full. Yep. Is it really? Okay. Um, yeah. So. Um, it's it's going to be a really exciting program. Maybe if you see it and you're still interested, yeah, definitely sign up and get your name on the waiting list to see if anybody um, is unable to make it. Yeah, and, and as you said, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, you're making reads, you're making a whole bunch of different stuff, so wh why wouldn't you kind of utilize the library system? And exactly. really, it's all free. You, and yeah, and, and especially <laughs> with the kind of catalog of events, you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do and, you know, when you want to do it and exactly. kind of what fits in with your schedule. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you guys recently kind of reorganized the North Suffolk branch, right? We did, yeah. Uh, did yes, we did with our own hands, actually. <laughs> did. And, 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 now, what, what kind of was involved in that reorganization? Wow. Well, just uh, logistically, yeah. um, thinking about how we wanted the space to be used. Okay. Um, and so one of the things that we found was that, we, yeah, well, we, we knew this for a long time is that we don't have a place to do a lot of programming. And okay. considering how much of our work is yeah. Based in programming, we decided that that's a major that was a major need for this location. Yeah. So it's kind of open areas and open, more, more of open that. Open areas, and um, we we wanted to make the spaces in the collection just easier to use. Yeah. Um, so the children's room has also been reorganized, and okay. it's just m more wide open. Um, you know, you're got a better. 
line of sight so you can keep it, your eye on your little one. Got it, got it. <laughs> and I think the collections have also been um, reorganized in a way that will just make people, it's a more intuitive way okay. of using yeah, the, the collection. You'll, you'll be able to find what you're looking for, I think, faster. Yeah, I know the, the camera can't see it, but the space we're in here is, is massive yeah. and certainly, you know, appropriate for like a New Year's noon party yeah, or uh, ma making a <laughs> tree, do-it-yourself craft or a hedgehog or a Christmas tree. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you ladies want to add about the uh, upcoming calendar? or have we kind of covered it all? Well, we always have new stuff coming up. Yeah. Okay. So like you said, sure. visit the online calendar or we have our physical calendars at all of our library locations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank I you. enjoyed thank talking you with you guys. And thank you at home for watching. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. And get online to that Suffolk Public Library site so you can check off the things that you want to do this holiday season. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back. We're here now with Linda Bunch, Executive Director of the Suffolk Art League, and Megan Mulvey of the Suffolk Public Library System. And we're here now, we're going to talk about some of their upcoming events because you guys are engaged in a partnership, right? That is of sorts? Correct. Yeah. That is correct. The Suffolk Art League being a community nonprofit fine arts organization, we look for partners mm -hmm. and way of bringing the arts out to the community, which is our mission is to provide arts experiences yeah. to all of the citizens of Suffolk and the surrounding communities. So, of course, with the library being a citywide a entity, absolutely, yeah. um, it has been a wonderful partnership. And, of course, we consider the literary side very yeah, much part absolutely. of what we do as well. And, and you guys just had a recent event that was very successful, right? Well, we did. Last summer we had um, a murder mystery, mystery pizza, pizza party. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> um, where the library staff, um, under Megan's direction, uh, created one of those plays where the audience is sort of part of the play. Okay, so the, kind of playing a detective yeah, kind of role so and trying to figure out. Exactly. The, yeah. The setting was a, a pizza parlor, and we had that in the Suffolk Art Gallery. Okay. With all our little check tablecloths and a <laughs> uh, little pizza parlor there. And a murder happens right at the beginning. Okay. And, and then the detectives come in, and everything is played out in front of as the, you're kind of eating the patrons pizza. eating pizza <coughs> and then you're charged with figuring out who done it okay yes and we try and we try to make it as difficult as possible to figure out okay. who done it we a lot of red herrings involved got and, it got it a um, lot of theatrics now, now, now at the end do they have to write down who they think did it and yeah. everyone kind of submits it and mm -hmm. then they now, now, how many people attended something like that I believe we had between 75 and 80. That many, wow. There. Yes, okay. It was very successful and just a lot of fun. They did a it sounds like a lot of fun. Job. Yeah. That was <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I was a disgruntled cleaning woman. Okay. And a couple people did think it was me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I felt I was very pleased with my performance. Um, and you did you <laughs> use an established property or did you kind of write it amongst yourselves? Um, actually, we have um, we used uh, a tool created by. Um, I believe it was ALA Publishing. Okay. Um, and we, we've got a lot of great library s tools that we use. Yeah. And um, it was just from a book. Okay. And it was fantastic. It just was really easy to use and get everything set up. And, you know, there weren't any real lines to... Um, uh, to memorize too many. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it was it was more improv. Got it. Well, it sounds like it was fun for both the staff, <laughs> people putting it on, and the, yeah. the the patrons who attended. Yeah, absolutely. It was a oh, lot we of fun. we have to give a shout out to Little Caesars. They okay. um, provided a great deal of the pizza for okay. us. So mm -hmm. pizza, were, pizza. They were very, very <laughs> murder, <strong>. murder. But <laughs> very generous. <laughs> okay. Well, well, and, and now of course you know springing off those kind of partnerships um, for the holidays, you guys are coming up with a big event, right? Well, that's, that's right. On December the 9th, okay. uh, Friday evening from 7 to 9, again at the Suffolk Art Gallery, which is downtown on Bosley Avenue, okay. um, we're doing a, a bad poetry night. Bad poetry night. Yes. Um, for a number of years, we have done a quarterly open mic poetry night, okay. but this is sort of a twist. So you're supposed to bring those really early poems that maybe aren't so good, or those that journal, you know, you write those journal yeah, yeah. entries that maybe the story's a little funky or something. So they're the kind of things. A bad we, haiku you wrote yeah, in high yeah, school. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so they're the kind of things um, to, to come out and, you know, I think the sign says, share the shame. So okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. 
it's supposed to be massively embarrassing. Okay. Um, so I've seen uh, um, Angela Martin, who's leading the program. Okay. Um, she's our new adult associate. She has been culling through um, embarrassing pictures of herself oh. and creating a slideshow. Okay. Um, and a I, poem to go with it? Or? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm assuming so. Okay. I don't want to intrude on her creative process. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I came across, actually, um, uh, I was looking through photos this weekend at my mom's for, mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving, and I found um, a letter that I wrote her that I think will be perfect oh. for this. <laughs> Super embarrassing. Really? Okay. Um, <laughs> so it's just a chance to come out and just have fun and sort of yeah. laugh at ourselves. Okay. And, and just lighten up. You know, everybody is so stressed out during the holidays. It's Absolutely, yeah. Just, you know, Shopping. And, and, and I, I do want to point out this is an adult evening. Okay, uh, okay. It's, it's not... For young children, uh, not, for, so. not for kids. Yeah, so, so yeah. it is an adult <laughs> evening. So um, we are really looking forward to seeing what people. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Out of what they can of their journals yeah. and their um, past lives and that kind of. Thing. And it's kind <laughs> of uh, is it like an anything goes event or is there a, uh, is there a rating on this we're putting? Uh, like uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no, no R-rated stuff, or is it, is it kind of a free-for-all since it's adults only? I guess we'll see what happens. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, so that's why I wanted to point out that it is an adult. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We may not have complete control once it gets started. <laughs> yeah, I completely understand. So it's just going to be a, 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 a microphone, and people can just kind of go up there one at a time? Do they have to pre-register? They, they don't have to pre-register, okay. but we have a sign-up board. Okay. So when you come in... And you don't necessarily have to sign up in the order you come in. Okay. So if you're the first one in the door, but you want to be the tenth person to read, Got you it. can sign up sign on number, number ten. <laughs> um, nobody wants to be number one. No, so. no not, not, especially even a bad <laughs> so, poetry night. Huh. So yeah, I don't know. I'd like to get it over with. I think. Now, anyway. will, will you be getting the ball rolling for uh, everyone? No, or, no, no, okay, okay. no, no. no that's uh, I'm the visual artist. So okay, not Got the it. verbal Got artist. It. So. Then the, 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 the Megan will certainly get the ball rolling that I, night, right? I will. I'll, okay, I'll there we go. The letter that I wrote my mom in. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> so we do invite people to bring out their their bad poetry okay. and their interesting letters and journal entries. Mm -hmm. And again, that's on uh, December the 9th, okay. 7 to 9. Okay. And it is free and yes. open to the public. Yeah. Now, now, is this something you, you're you doing for the first time? This is your first kind of bad poetry the, night? This or? is the first bad poetry night. Okay. So. Intentionally bad. <laughs> In, yeah, yeah, intentionally bad. Do you guys have anything, anything else planned? Or? Yeah, well, um, for about a year now, mm -hmm. the Art League and the library have partnered to do arts workshops, visual art workshops, okay. here at the North Suffolk Library. Okay. And we do one a month. Some are for adults, some are for kids. So we sort of alternate back and forth. And in, the, in, in, in what kind of is that workshop, like a visual arts workshop, for, for, oh, for, for someone who <laughs> it's not, hasn't yeah. been? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done, you know, like landscape painting, we've done pastels, we've done okay. jewelry. So you kind of focus on... So it's a one, yeah. you know one area what focus we're going to do, one area it. focus. And the next one will be on December the 14th, and that starts at 6 o'clock and finishes up about 7.45. Okay. And we're doing, um, a, it's a... Uh, foil embossed um, project. If you're familiar with what we call Zentangles, and that's the fancy name for doodles. I'm familiar doodle, with that at all. Fancy <laughs> name for doodles, <laughs> where you sort of draw off, you know, just sort of arbitrarily draw off sections on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And then as that those lines form other areas, you go in and do a design, okay. like a little hatch design. It's kind of like what, what they usually do in meetings. I'll make some lines yeah, and then exactly, make some more lines. Exactly, but they're a little I more, didn't say that. Yeah, a <laughs> little more purposeful. You know, okay. A little more yeah, purposeful yeah. than mm -hmm. just our average doodles. But these are going to be sort of glitzy for the holidays. So instead of just doing it on paper, we're actually also making them dimensional in that they'll glue down strings Instead of drawing the lines, okay. they'll glue down strings to create those lines that are then covered with a foil, so okay. you get that kind of shine. But the strings then embossed down will create those sections huh, that you then fill in with color. Huh. So it's uh, taking it a little step farther than just. And, and will they be making them? In, they have to make them in advance, or no, will no, they be no. making it them here? All be done okay, here. Okay, okay. All be done here. Um, Stephanie um, Gwaltney, who teaches art at one of the high schools mm -hmm. at Kingsport High School will be teaching the workshop and Stephanie is just a lot of fun. She's one of those people that just has more energy okay. yeah. than anybody ought to have. So, so, so <laughs> at each one of these workshops you're literally coming and making something Absolutely. And, yes. and then you're kind of p putting it on display for everyone to kind of look at. And sure. 
Well, we'd let, we'd let, you're, you're welcome to take them home. And we have uh, thought about doing maybe some sort of show at the end of the year to show off what people yeah, have I was going to say, that wall right there would be yeah. perfect for kind of a gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the idea. Yeah, I try. <laughs> and um, because of the partnership and funding that we both get from other sources, mm -hmm. we're able to do these again free. Okay. But you do have to register in advance. You do, okay. We do have limited space, so you do have to register in advance, and you can do that through the yeah. library You website. can. You, you can do it on the website. Okay. Definitely. Um, just like you would register for any other program. Um, but I would caution you, these um, programs do fill up pretty quickly. Do they? Um, I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, no, they sound <laughs> incredibly fun. With, yeah. the, with the subjects and, and also having the expertise of yeah. the Art League um, being involved is, is, is just really um, a fantastic partnership for, for both of yeah. us, I believe. The only thing missing is a couple of bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a public deal. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Well, is there anything else you guys want to mention about the partnership or any upcoming events? I think you've covered it all. We've got some great events starting. Um, we'll be continuing with our monthly yeah. workshops. Okay. And that goes, uh, we've got a new calendar from January until May coming mm -hmm. out. Oh, wow, soon. okay. So, um, so just certainly get on that website and mm -hmm. check it out. Absolutely. And also the... Art League, our Facebook page, and our website as well. We try to okay. keep them all posted there. Got it. Um, but you do need to register through those. Okay. Well, thanks again for joining me, and thank you at home for watching.